Welcome back to It Resolves, where we play a new deck every single day. Today's deck is Golgari Swarm. What is going on, everybody, and welcome back to another standard gameplay video. Hope you guys are doing well today. Hopefully, you're ending the week on a high note. We are hopefully going to do the same. Uh, this this is going to be a really fun one. So let me be clear. Uh, Golgari Swarm, this version of, of Golgari Swarm, is created by MTG Malone. Uh, obviously, a phenomenal content creator. If you don't know who MTG Malone is... Honestly, what are you even doing? Go check him out. I will, of course, link him down below. Most of you should know about him, but he really does a great job, and this deck is a shining example of uh, his deck building skills. This one is awesome. So, obviously, we're kind of reminiscing today because we're going back to the Scoot Swarm days. Uh, we haven't really played a huge, like, dedicated Scoot Swarm deck in quite a while, uh, but this certainly fits the bill. So, Obviously, if you don't know by now, Scoot Swarm, anytime a land enters the battlefield, you get a 1-1 Insect. If you have six or more lands, though, you actually get a copy of Scoot Swarm. So what we're getting is exponential growth throughout the course of the game, uh, if we can stick it on the field. So we do have to be a little bit careful about that. But uh, the whole deck is basically tailor-made to be able to win on the spot uh, by getting a lot of Scoot Swarm tokens or and or a lot of skeletal swarming tokens uh, and then with that we can meet hook massacre our way to the win now to keep us in the game for a little while we do have prosperous innkeeper uh, so every time a creature comes into play we're going to gain a life which is huge we also do feature the uh, sack lands here the theater and the overlook which we can bring back with the splendid reclamation combo which obviously not only triggers a lot of the landfall but it does also give us a little bit of incremental value in terms of the life gain uh, now, um, the rest of the deck is pretty tailor-made to basically kind of control the game and kind of get further in. So we do have the Eye Twitch and the Shambling Ghast, uh, which of course that Eye Twitch does give us access to the uh, sideboard here. We have the Deadly Dispute, uh, we've got the Infernal Grasp, so a lot of really good kind of card draw mechanics, control mechanics, things like that. Uh, we do have Topiary Stomper as a two of, uh, which can of course come down, grab ourselves an extra land, uh, and then of course later in the game, it's a nice 4-4 Vigilance creature, so hopefully this is going to ramp us into some bigger stuff. Uh, we do have two Lolf, uh, which I practiced this deck once, and I will just say the opponent was playing a, like, Grixis Vampires list. Uh, we had, I think it was something like 50 Scoot Swarm tokens, and they used Meat Hook Massacre. Uh, and we had a lolf out, so we ended up with over 50 counters on a lolf, which later took over the game to win it. So it was really amazing, uh, and I'm hoping we can uh, kind of see some of those things happen. But of course, lolf is a great include. And then sitting at the top, we've got two really great cards. Zia Tora, of course, huge, huge power uh, in that 6-6 flyer, but it also is able to just kind of point and shoot the opponent down, uh, which is great with Skeletal Swarming because these obviously scale up. Uh, and then, of course, we do have Titan of Industry as well uh, for a bit of tech, uh, as well as just a really nice big 7-7 Reach and Trampler. So, uh, again, a relatively straightforward deck, but I think a really fun one. Uh, I think it's going to be quite good, and I'm hoping we can actually pull off this kind of crazy engine combo -y style deck uh, very, very well. So, MTG Malone, thank you so much, my friend. I really appreciate your deck building skills and... I'm really excited to try this one out. Let's go ahead, guys. Let's jump into game one. Let's see what we can do. All right, guys, and here we are for game number one. This is actually a great starting hand with the Eye Twitch and the Deadly Dispute. We also have that Meat Hook Masker, so if we find ourselves in a bad position, of course, we can kind of ramp our way into it with the treasure token off of this. So uh, feeling pretty good about the start. Uh, let's hope we actually get to Deadly Dispute this high switch. I'm sure, we'll, hopefully, we'll be able to, uh, and it looks like we definitely will. So, this could very well be a Reclamation deck as well, uh, which is going to be interesting for sure. So, let's first things first, go ahead and attack in here, and I think we actually just passed leaving up that Deadly Dispute. I don't think we need to jump the gun too much here. Um, yep. Yep. I'm curious to see if they actually play anything this turn. It looks like an is it style deck. Hmm. Let's go ahead and try for the uh, the eye twitch here. It looks like that's gonna work, which is phenomenal. Uh, and the question is, what do we get? I think it's just environmental sciences at this point in the game. I don't think we have to stress too much. Uh, and man, look at all of this. We just have tons of stuff we can do. Um. 
So we do have the reclamation in hand, which is quite good for us. Let's go ahead and do this. Uh, I think we'll start there. Let's make sure we pull that red source. That's one thing to note is that we do only have one red source, which is perfectly fine. We actually don't need very many, but uh, it is pretty crucial for us to actually get that down. Um, and then here, I think I'm just gonna go Topiary Stopper. Uh, I know we're kind of like potentially wasting the ramp, but I think we're actually more just channeling that into a truthful land, uh, which I'd rather have anyway. So I think that's kind of okay. Let's get the black source so we do have access to that meat hook masker in future turns. And now, I mean, we're sitting okay. Obviously, Topiary Stomper isn't really doing anything yet. It's already kind of gotten the land, and we've got a little ways to go before we can really do anything with it. But we're actually ramping into our fifth land here, and that's quite good. <laughs> Uh, as it turns out. Uh, let's definitely set up the Splendid Reclamation as best we can, so we'll go ahead and do this. Uh, maybe this isn't a Reclamation deck? I haven't seen green yet, uh, which is kind of interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. I think we can go ahead and Environmental Sciences here too, I don't really see a reason not to. We'll get another green because we do have, of course, the, um, the massive, massive titan of industry that we're gonna wanna get to eventually. So this really just sets us up quite well for it. And now, I mean, we're on land six. So a scoot swarm would not go amiss. Uh, really anything in the, <laughs> any action spell is gonna be great here. So uh, we can also just splendid reclamation and get ourselves further in if we need. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and do this. Um, the Splendid Reclamation does open up quite a number of plays. I'm gonna try for it here. Uh, I don't know if this gets countered or not, but that looks like not. This opens up the attack with the Topiary Stomper, which I think is important for us. Um, okay, yeah, sure. Uh, that seems like a patch fix. That doesn't seem great, uh, but that's fine. This also just deck thins us, guys. So like, we're kind of just setting ourselves up for uh, a great future turn, um, which I'm totally down for. So let's see, let's get that black source. Excellent. Uh, and again, now we've got quite a number of lands that we can actually just meat hook massacre our way into a, a good turn, or we just get to leave up the infernal grasp this turn. So feeling okay. Uh, we've got so many lands out. This deck does a great job of just filtering, 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 getting tons of lands onto the battlefield. It's pretty amazing. Don't love that. Tasha's Hideous Laughter is pretty bad for us. Um, thankfully, they don't hit very many cards, actually. That's kind of interesting. Okay. So this is a, a uh, uh, um, crab deck, ruin crab deck, 100%. There's no way it's not. Um, can we do this plus Zeotora? Yes, we can. So let's go ahead and do this. We'll grab that land. Uh, we'll play this. We'll go ahead and play the Zeotora. Phenomenal. Let's go ahead and hit him. Um, I'm going to do this and knock him down for four here. Uh, a little worried about what they could have because, again, we're filtering through a lot of the lands in our deck, uh, which is good for the laughter, but they definitely, yeah, so they're going to be milling very quickly here. Good news, bad news is we do have quite a bit on the field, but uh, this is definitely going to be a rough one. Okay, um, I wish we had like a Scoot Swarm or something that we could really do something with here. Uh, let's first attack in. Okay, let's do this. Um, sure. I think I will play the land. Uh, we have 15 cards left in the deck. I'm very interested to see how this actually ends up going. Uh, okay, so if we go here, let's do this. So the reason I want to do this is because this forces them to answer the Zia Torah, uh, which they may or may not be able to do, but basically they're going to have to pick, and there we go. All right, sick. We got the win against a Reclamation Mill deck. Very interesting. We didn't actually get to see the Reclamation, but I'm assuming. Uh, that was a really good game. Let's jump into game two. The brand new Reanimator Proxy Pack is now available through the end of July. If you'd like to pick up this month's amazing Proxy Pack, please visit patreon.com slash itresolves for details. Alright guys, here we are for game number two, and how do we feel about this hand? I don't actually love it. Uh, the double Loth is a little tricky. I think I'm gonna mulligan that. 
Um, this is better, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, it's better. Um, so the question becomes, do we want the shambling gas or the eye twitch, I believe. Um, I actually think it's the shambling gas. That might be incorrect, but it does answer more stuff. It also just gives us that treasure token, which either way is actually pretty good for us. So I'm gonna take this option. Um, the skeletal swarming was also an option for throwing back, just purely based on mana cost. It's a pretty expensive spell, but, excuse me, uh, I feel like we do need some, you know, something to get to. Uh, we'd ideally like some lands here very soon. Okay. That's certainly a land. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, we will get, uh, I guess a red source. Whoops. <laughs> totally, uh, missed that one. Uh, that's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and attack. Easy enough. So does this not, oh, it's Island Swamp or Mountain. Okay, so we don't have the, the other one. That's kind of unfortunate. Um, all right, let's go ahead and play the land. The opponent is on Demir of some kind. I'm really interested to see how this actually goes. Uh, obviously, we just get a black source here. So on the plus side, uh, we do have the double black for a future Meat Hook Massacre if we so choose. Uh, we also do have a way of getting green mana, <clears throat> kind of, uh, through the Shambling Ghast, but it's a one-shot deal, uh, so it's not exactly great. Um, wow, they are stuck on lands. Interesting. Well, this is kind of an odd place to be, isn't it? Uh, we're a little bit stuck on everything, uh, but so is the opponent, potentially. Uh, I'm curious to see if they actually do anything to the Shambling Gas here. So far, two damage off of a Shambling Gas, man. I will take it. Uh, that's not bad. We probably should have gone Eye Twitch. In hindsight, giving us the environmental sciences to be able to pull the green would have made way more sense, so that was definitely my uh, mistake there. But it is what it is. I mean, here's the thing, we could kill our <laughs> Shambling Gas just to get the green source to at least start on that process, but I don't think that's a good idea. Um, I think we just have to wait um, and really hope we get a... Any land will be helpful, but a green source would obviously be the best. Um, interesting. Okay, well, technically that can help us get there. Man, this Shambling Gas is doing some work, though. <laughs> it's... It's pinging for four, man. I like it. Um, all right, here we go. <laughs> this is so silly. Uh, we would really love a green source right now. Really, any green source will do. Um, so yeah, that's fine. It's more helpful than not, honestly. <laughs> we kind of wanted that. Um, all right, definitely a treasure token. Definitely environmental sciences. All right, sick. Uh, another theater. Man, we are kind of getting unlucky there. Um, let's do this. Let's finally get our green source. Uh, let's go here. I think we just topiary stomper. Uh, this is going to get us our next green source. It's also a little bit trickier for them to deal with so far, so I feel like that's probably important. We also now open up the play of Scoot Swarm into the theater next turn, uh, which obviously doubles up on the tokens. So, uh, or we can of course just go Skeletal Swarming, kind of whatever we feel like. Um, Dreadfuge, interesting. Uh, so they can take Infernal Grasp or Prosperous Innkeeper, but those are the only two options. I'd love to keep the Innkeeper. We gain so much life off of it that it's like kind of worth it. Um, interesting. Okay, so they did go for that. Um, yeah, so let's try for the innkeeper first. Let's see if this actually lands. It does. Um, Scoot Swarm? Let's try it. Uh, this is a bit riskier. Obviously, they could easily kill this, I'm sure. Uh, and here is the time for them to kill it, if they can. Okay. Uh, so we do get a copy of it regardless of what they do. So basically we're telling them they need a sweeper or they're not going to get the, uh, the answer off. So that's helpful. We also just have a Titan of Industry next turn, uh, which can obviously deal with their, uh, Meat Hook Massacre, which is quite good. And we're well ahead on the lamb front, uh, which is quite nice. So six, 
And there we go, guys. We just got the win. <laughs> that was amazing. Fantastic. MTG Malone, we are killing it with your deck, my friend. Let's jump into game three. Oh, and hey, we rank up. <laughs> All right. Uh, this is an interesting one. We've got a lot of answers in the way of Infernal Graphs. But we can also use that eye twitch pretty quickly. So certainly there's some some interesting legitimacy there. Um, I guess we keep... It's kind of an odd one. It's definitely an odd one, right? But I think we can at least try it. Uh, and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. We learned something along the way. So far, this deck has been phenomenal. Malone, you are knocking it out of the park with this one, my friend. I really do appreciate you putting this deck together. Uh, let's see what the opponent is looking to do. Kind of taking their time here. We'll see if this actually even pans out into a game. <laughs> uh but i do I, i'm kind of intrigued to try this i think it could be fun um it's nice to play a dedicated like scoot swarm style deck again because obviously scoot swarm is just ridiculously good uh and so it's a really fun one to just try i do like that um let's go ahead and use the theater <laughs> let's learn our lesson the overlook is the better land for the deck without a doubt um gain our little life there and now we've got Eye Twitch that can come down. Um, and then later on, of course, we actually have some other options. Let's uh, let's go ahead and throw this out there. Let's overlook and let's get a, what do we want here? Uh, I think it's probably the red. Let's just go ahead and get that out of there. And let's see what happens. Uh, they could deadly dispute this turn. They could do a number of different things. Uh, do we want to just trade eye switches? Probably. Uh, as much as I'd like to save it for the deadly dispute, chances of them having like a meat hook or something are pretty high. Uh, and so I think I'd rather get rid of it uh, while we can. Um, let's see. Let's just make sure that we're going to be taking the right one. Uh, yeah, I think we can just take that. Basic Conjuring is a really intriguing card, but I don't think now is the time. All right, they're going to Environmental Sciences. Sure. Perfectly fine. There's our Scoot Swarm. Uh, I do like that. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and Environmental Sciences. I think that's fine. Uh, we'll pull our green source. And I think we just go here. I think that's fine. Uh, we will get our second green source just to open us up. Well, third green source, technically. Maybe we should have gotten black. Eh, that's fine. All right, that's a little scary for sure. Don't love that, but we'll see what we can do. Hmm. Uh, trying to think what the best possible play is here. Let's go ahead and do this. We're kind of just deck thinning as best we can at this point. I think that's probably more important than anything else. And I actually think we just have to leave up a uh, Infernal Grasp on potentially just the Vampire. It's pretty unexciting, um, but it is something. They could also just Hive of the Eye Tyrant. It's perfectly reasonable to do. Uh, smart of the opponent to go ahead and draw first. Just in case, you never know what you're gonna get. So work with the, the maximum amount of information. Always draw first if it makes sense to you. Also with something like, or obviously with something like Kaito, it's not necessarily the case because you want to get the attack in first. Otherwise it's not a free draw. Uh, so this actually works out okay because at least we get to kill the land and set them back a little bit. Let's make sure we do this before attacks so they don't get to trigger it. Uh, that is pretty important. They are gonna tap one. I'm curious to know what that would have been for, uh, but it looks like nothing. All right, well, let's see what we can do. <laughs> interesting, oh, that's very interesting. Okay, um, so we've got four of these in the graveyard. Uh, that could make for quite an interesting turn. Um, Let's see, next turn we can drop Scoot, but we can't quite then play the Splendid Reclamation, correct? Yeah, so I don't love the idea of leaving them with this. Man, what an interesting uh, uh, card draw there. So we could do this and then leave up the a Deadly Dispute, actually. 
I think that's the play. Uh, so here's the deal. Uh, we definitely messed up. We should have played the land second. Um, so that was an oops. But the important thing is what we can do is deadly dispute the scoot swarm, which they're most likely going to want to kill uh, for obvious reasons. <laughs> um, and theoretically, at least, we can get some value off of it and then just splendid reclamation our way into even more stuff. We won't have the scoot swarm on the field, but uh, we do get the card draw, obviously, which is kind of important. Let's see. They could also just have their own Deadly Dispute and try and hit it with that Shambling Ghast, uh, but I'm sure they'll attack first. We obviously just pass with no blocks. Uh, it would have been so much better to have played the land after. That was such a mistake, uh, <laughs> but it's fine. Uh, we'll, we'll make do. Um, sure. So they've already done that. All right, let's see what you got, opponent. What an interesting sequence of turns here. Um, all right, so definitely just gonna go ahead and do this. Uh, and that'll, that was kind of a bait and swap maneuver but uh we definitely should have had our own creature token like a little one one on the field at this point technically i guess it wouldn't have really mattered uh just because they they obviously had a meat hook which is gonna answer all of the tokens so it doesn't really matter but uh it is just something to consider Ooh, titan of industry well, that's certainly quite good um all right and another titan of industry i mean we can just go for the titan of industry um and I think that's probably the play. Uh, especially given we have a backup Titan of Industry, right? Like, that's quite good. We can get rid of this Meat Hook, which I think we definitely do. Uh, so let's do that. Um, do we put a Shield Counter? Probably, right? Or we could go for the 4-4. Maybe it's the 4-4 given that they have a Planeswalker on the field. Yeah, that's probably fair. Let's destroy that. Um, I think that's probably better. They could very easily, this is a snow deck, so it's very obvious that they could have a blood on the snow here, uh, which would suck, but like, I mean, we gotta at least force the issue if that makes sense. So here they don't have a good attack, which is great. Um, if they do blood on the snow, the best they're gonna get back, I suppose, is either an eye twitch or a shambling ghast. That's an interesting one, a siege more witch. That's quite good. Uh, but we're gonna kind of force the issue here a little bit and hopefully this works out uh, We also just have our own meat hook uh, If we'd like next turn so if they don't sweep we can meat hook and get rid of some stuff before Attacking and then ideally be able to kill that Soren Or professor onyx uh, that might be the one we kill okay So they get rid of that now they do have an attack worth noting uh, if they'd like it. They may not go for it just knowing that we can kill a Planeswalker here. Interesting. Curious as to which one we actually try and kill here. We can basically neuter Soren to the point where it's not really a threat, or we can just kill the Onyx. I suppose we kill the Onyx, given that it has the uh, Magecraft ability. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and do this. I'm, I'm going to Reclamation now. We need to deck then. We need to draw answers and uh, action spells, and so I think this is the way we're going to do it. Uh, we also just get a crap load of lands out of this, which is kind of nice. It gives us Titan of Industry plus other stuff if we want it, you know what I mean? So we kind of just get whatever we need here. Uh, let's play another land, just why not? Um, we'll potentially kill this, but I think we'll wait and see what they do. Um, sure. So they are going to draw here. It's interesting. Maybe they're planning to blood on the snow just to get back the uh, onyx. That could be. I think they have blood on the snow. 
sh in that instance, that Infernal Grasp isn't necessarily a good card to play. Um, but, yep, there it is. <laughs> sure. So now they get the Onyx back, uh, and they get to plus up, sure. I think that's the one thing this deck doesn't do super well, is answer Planeswalkers. I think, uh... Like this will always be a difficult matchup for the for the deck, uh, which is fine. I mean, that's just you know the nature of what's going to happen. But uh, it is kind of a difficult matchup for us. Let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, we are going to Rhino for sure, so we can threaten as much as we can, and then. I wonder if this works with sacrificing. It's not destroyed, so I'm assuming not. Um, I'm gonna go for the five life here just to protect ourselves a bit. That may not be correct. I really don't know, um, but I'm I'm betting that uh, if we sacrifice it, it's not count. It's not counted as a uh, shield counter hit. Oh man, that's really good um, and annoying. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Are they going to... They're going to draw. Well, now they can ultimate Soren, uh, which is really not good for us. And that's also really not good for us. Um, yeah, we're kind of just getting not great draws here, guys. I'll be honest. Uh, Infernal Grasp at this point in the game is pretty terrible. <laughs> uh, so they can nuke us for 13. Uh, they're also getting close to the point where... Uh, they can just minus eight. No, they're not close to it. Sorry. They're at four. Okay. They got a ways for that. That's helpful. All right. Let's see. Are they going to nuke us? <laughs> Very interested to see. Yep. They're going to kill the Soren for 13 damage. That's very good. Uh, kind of curious if they actually activate the hive. There's the witch. They can still go for the Hive if they would like, but they are not going to. Okay. Very good. Oh my gosh. Oh no. <laughs> well, this is terrible. Um, yeah, Planeswalkers, man. Kind of a problem for this deck. Uh, we'll pass. Not a bad card, actually. Um, it's not necessarily amazing, but it's not bad. Let's go ahead and do this. Get everything out of there. Um, at the very least, these kind of neutralize each other as well, which is quite nice. Let's go ahead and Skeletal Swarming. They do get a, a, a really good card out of this. All right. I don't think we're going to do this. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and say. Uh, but we're trying. We're really, really trying. Um, the fact that they have the Magecraft on Professor Onyx is pretty, pretty, uh, pretty bad for us because they literally can just Magecraft us to death with some really useful cards. Um, kind of curious to see if they Inscription of Ruin first, just to get the last card out of hand here. Um, uh, it would be a perfectly reasonable play, uh, but it would take them off the Mascot Exhibition play this turn, so there's... There's kind of a, a plus and a minus to it. Yep. Honestly, I'm just happy we've lasted this long against a Soren plus a Professor Onyx. Like this is a this is a game that I don't think we're well set up to win. But um, a bad a bad draws on their end would certainly help us out. Like just a nice no sweeper kind of turn <laughs> would have really done us good. Uh, but unfortunately, that didn't happen. Uh, so it's all good and we'll see what they do um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. yeah so they can't do everything okay sure <laughs> interesting play uh, they meat hook I mean I guess it makes sense just to get the stuff off the field and then they can still hive at the eye tyrant if they'd like um, which we 100% kill if they do that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they have the inevitability here, guys. So there's not a lot we're going to be able to do aside from try our darndest to not die. 
Okay. They could still Inscription of Ruin if they want, but it looks like they're not planning to. Deadly Dispute. Um, I mean, I'll take that, yeah. Just to draw further into the deck? Absolutely. Another Deadly Dispute. Um, yeah, I mean, we go for it. We can still Reclamation just to gain some life as well, worth noting. A Loth. Walth isn't bad. Um, is it good enough? I'm not sure. Probably not. But it's certainly not a bad card. We also get the Topiary Stomper. All right, let's uh, let's do this. Let's see if this actually pans out. Probably not. But we're gonna try. Give ourselves a couple of guys. Let's go ahead and Topiary Stomper here. I think we'll save the Reclamation for a following turn. If we get a following turn, we'll see. <laughs> They're gonna Infernal Grasp, of course. Makes total sense. Um, thankfully these even out. That actually does trigger our Skeletal Swarming though, uh, which is kind of nice. So we do get two tokens. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I think they're gonna easy, easy get us here, but we're trying our darndest, so. Uh, this has been a fun game, though, I will say, and the other two games went great, so I can't complain. This has been an absolute blast. Malone, you really put together a banger here. Um, they definitely are gonna be running us down pretty quickly. I think we definitely just double block. Take the one. We can't really let that sit on the field because they just gain so much advantage with it. Uh, and we do get the Loth advantage with the, the tokens, so that's fine. It's not great, but it's fine. Still kind of surprised they haven't activated Hive. Um, maybe that's just not part of their game plan. I don't know. Maybe that's just 100% backup plan and they're trying to commit more. Which is totally fine, but um, kind of curious. I'm intrigued to see if they, they deal with these two tokens. Uh, they do have a way to at least deal with... I mean, they can deal with both of them pretty easily. Okay. So you're going to draw some cards. That Magecraft, man. Um, so if they can just play two more spells, we lose. Yeah. I mean, I can't, I literally can't do anything about that. The Magecraft on Professor Onyx is pretty, uh, pretty damning. Yep. All right. So we lose. Uh, they actually have just an Inscription of Ruin. So I'm going to good game them. They got us. Perfectly fine. Uh, let's make sure they actually do it. They could very easily, I doubt they miss it. They've got so much mana available. Do it. Don't slow roll. Laristo, come on, man. Just play it. Just do it. This is, I mean, it literally is just any spell. <laughs> like, just play a thing. Oh, my God. All right, I'm, I'm conceding. That's silly. All right, let's wrap this one up. All right, guys, so Golgari Swarm. Uh, first of all, again, thank you to MTG Malone for putting this amazing list together. I really did enjoy this one. Uh, I think that last game was always going to be a tricky one, but we really didn't set ourselves up for a good start either. So unfortunately, that's also on me, uh, not necessarily the deck. I do think, um, again, anytime you're against a Planeswalker Blood on the Snow style deck, you're probably going to have a hard time with this because they just will have the answers for everything that you're doing um, in terms of flooding the board with creatures. Now, we do have other game plans in this deck, which is actually quite helpful because it does allow that backup option, but uh, it's it's not like we have tons of man lands and things that we can really rely on. We're pretty all in on that strategy, and so uh, it does get a bit tricky, but regardless, it's a blast. It's a really fun deck uh, and a little bit nostalgic, given that Scoot Swarm is really the focus of the deck. It's kind of fun to be able to play another one of those since it's been a little while, uh, and I really enjoyed that. So thank you to MTG Malone. Thank you to you guys for watching. Again, I hope you guys have a great start to your weekend. I will be out of town this weekend. I'm planning to pre-record, so hopefully we won't miss anything. Uh, but I'm going to the beach uh, with, with my wife for the weekend. So I will be back on Monday, uh, and we'll try and get some more stuff done then. But thank you guys very, very much. I do appreciate it. Have a fantastic weekend. I'll see you guys tomorrow.